Are you sitting on an amazing invention idea and you don't know how to get started? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you the first three steps that you need to take to bring your invention to market. And for the most, these steps won't cost you a dime. So let's get into it. I'm Scott. I have been inventing for more than 20 years. I've sold millions of dollars of product to businesses and people all over the world. So what's the first step you need to take in the invention process? Find out if any other company is making your product. Do a Google search, go on Amazon, and do a thorough search using not only the terminology that you would use to describe your product, but think about how other people might describe it as well. There might be industry terminology that's used that if you use those terms in a search, you might find tons of products that are just like your idea. But even if you find similar products in the market, that doesn't mean that your idea is dead. If your product vastly improves on what's already out there, then you still have the potential to be successful with it. Let me, let me give you an example. I used to sell a product called the Spotless Swing Golf Towel. Now, I recently sold that company. But before I launched Spotless Swing, I knew that there were already hundreds of golf towels on the market. But Spotless Swing had some great features and benefits that no other golf towels had, and it became a wildly successful product because of these benefits that it gave to the customers. So if your product can do the same thing, you can move on to step two. Step two is determine if there's actually a market for your product. Who will buy your product that it makes, makes it worthwhile to spend the time and money to bring it to market? An extreme example might be if your product is only useful for women who are seven feet tall and left-handed and to use it, they have to live in Miami and can only use it on a Tuesday. Well, that's an, a tiny market and your product's probably not worth the investment. Now, the third step is an intellectual property search. You want to make sure that your invention idea isn't already patented by another company. 93% of all patents are never commercialized. So you want to make sure that your idea, you don't want to take your idea and bring it to market and start selling it only to receive a cease and desist letter from a company telling you you have to stop because you're infringing on their patent. Now, you can do a patent search for free on the United States Patent and Trademark Office website. You type in your terms, and the website will tell you any patent that matches those terms. Now, if you don't find anything that's similar to your product and you want to proceed, this is probably the first step where you may want to hire a patent attorney or a patent agent to do a more thorough search for you because they're professionals and they can do a better job than you can searching the USPTO website. Now, there's some attorneys that might try to charge you thousands of dollars for this search, but in my experience, you can pay a lot less than that. In fact, you can go on a website like Fiverr and potentially spend maybe $200 and even get an opinion from the attorney on whether your invention is going to infringe on somebody else's idea. So if you've passed these first three steps, finding out if another product's on the market, is there an actual market, enough people out there for your product to make it worthwhile bringing to market, and that you're not infringing on another company's intellectual property? So if you pass these three steps and you want to proceed with your invention idea, stay tuned to my other videos or subscribe to this channel where you can learn more about the invention process and learn how to bring your product to market. My next video is going to be why you should not patent your market. So again, remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching.